So today we are doing our first unboxing video. And the cool thing is, is that I actually got my girls a cool gift that I want to share with them. And I think they know kind of what it is already, but they don't know exactly what it is. So I wanted to make sure that we share with you guys the unboxing and see how this goes. It's, I think it should be pretty fun here, but I wanted them to kind of go over why we're doing the unboxing in the first place and what it's going to be about. Before I went to Disney World in March, I wanted to get a little bag that I could carry around the park that was in the mood and carry around some waters and some basic snacks. So I got onto Amazon and I was searching for a bag. This is the one I got to take down to the park with me. It was not a name brand, it was an off brand. The dimensions on Amazon said it were like the same as this lounge fly bag, but as you can tell from the video, it's a little bit smaller. It does, however, have some nice double stitching on it. There's a nice double stitching on the back. There are two spots for you to clip the different straps so you can carry it very easily. There are nice pockets on either side of it, and it's got a cute little pocket in the front underneath the bow. All right. When I saw it on Amazon, it was $20. It was kind of what I was looking for. They didn't really have a nice Mickey bag. Um, it was a mini with the bow and the ears. And the one on Amazon did show the ears standing up. As you can see on this bag, the ears never quite stand up. It does very easily fit two water bottles in it. Okay, and as you can tell, in addition to the two water bottles, you can get a bag of chips, you can get a granola bar if you need to, and that's about all that fits in there. But there's not a whole lot of room left in this bag once you get two bottles of water in it. But to take to Disney World, to take some waters, I thought that it would be okay. Then, when we got down to Disney World, we saw the lounge fly bags. This little stitch is a lounge fly bag. And I'll say this real quick, guys, that we really, we didn't know that there would be an actual difference between the quality of lounge fly and the quality of the bag that we got off of Amazon until we actually got to Disney World and we saw the stitch bag for the first time. And that's where things kind of really became super clear comparing it side by side. I really like Stitch, like Stitch is everything for me. And we got to Disney and you go into some of the shops and almost all of them have like a Stitch section. They have like t-shirts, socks, journals, like whatever you want. And then you know you're scanning the section and then I saw this. And it looks really cool about this, it's just like the face on it, it's like so cute. And where the mouth is. There's the zipper. Then just like mom's little bag, like with the little pockets on the side, it also has little pockets, which is cool. Then on the inside, it's like a discombobulated stitch, almost. Well, not almost. It is a discombobulated stitch. Back to you, mom. So after Morgan got her stitch bag. I really wanted a bigger bag than the one that I had, but I couldn't make up my mind. All right, fine. The only bag I really saw that I wanted at Disney World, it was late at night, we the World of Disney, it was a Captain Marvel bag, and I didn't go over and grab it, because there were just way too many people in the World of Disney store, and I was thinking, I'll just get it when I got home. Yes, unfortunately, it was out of stock when I got home. So. Several weeks of trolling the lounge fly and the shop Disney.com's website. Several weeks. Like into like what, maybe two months? At least. Yeah. At least it was a daily troll of at least two months to try to make up my mind and make a decision on the bag that I wanted. And I went ahead and went forth and got the Mickey bag. This is finally the one I chose. If I couldn't have the Captain Marvel bag, then I was gonna get Mickey. When I was shopping on Amazon for the two bags, the dimensions were pretty similar. Though there's a good, you know, two inches more of the, the Mickey Mouse Lounge fly bag, 
than there is for the little knockoff Amazon bag. And this is a knockoff of a lounge fly bag. They do, the lounge fly does have a mini mouse bag that is like this, that is sequined. Okay, I am very hard on bag, so the sequins did not appeal to me. Um, and this little guy, the only thing I really don't like about it from Amazon is the fact that the bow is a definite point of failure. At some point in this life, this thing's gonna pop right off. For a knockoff bag for $20, I more than got my money for it. Okay, except for the fact that the little ears just don't stand up. So, and he's gonna fall over because he doesn't have a hard bottom. That is one of the things I do like about the lounge fly bags, they have that hard bottom. They always stand for you. The Mickey Mouse bag comes with the little, you know, side pocket on the front. Comes with an awesome little Mickey Mouse hand. Comes where it says an awesome Mickey Mouse on the back of that hand. In, in the pocket up front, I have, I have an EOS. I have eye drops. I have spare eye drops. Contact container because you never know when your contacts are going to need to come out. I have the eyeglass cleaner just in case you need to clean your eyeglasses or your sunglasses. I've also got band-aids, moleskin, I have that in here, and just in case you get hungry, I've got mints. So as you can see, <laughs> there's a lot of storage space in this front compartment. In the main compartment, you have a deconstructed Mickey, so just like you have a deconstructed stitch in there, you've got the Mickey Mouse hands, you've got the little pants, you've got the little yellow feet. What I love the most about it though, don't know if you guys can see this or not. I've got three water bottles in here. That's a water bottle for each one of us. Without having to worry that I'm only got two water bottles in here and I'm carrying one around and it's getting kind of warm. I have my wallet, which will contain my phone. It's kind of a little bit of fat wallet, so that's kind of nice. I've got snacks. I've got mints. I've got lotion. I've got a granola bar. All right, you can put your moleskin in here for running around the purse. I've got probiotics because I need those with the celiac disease. I have napkins and I have my contact solution. On a normal basis, I could also have my glass case in there and have my eyeglasses in there in case I do need to take out my contacts in an emergency contact situation. All of this fits in this little bit bag. <laughs> Who would have guessed? There is no kitchen sink though. I, I love, there's no kitchen sink. Well, if I had a magic expanding bag, like I would water. have the kitchen sink <laughs> and a dishwasher and probably a washer and a dryer. You'd have a whole house. I would have a what whole house. Say, Morgan said it was like Hermione's bag and yeah, Harry Potter's. Yeah, I would like Hermione's bag and he just keep pulling stuff out. But I feel pretty good about the amount of stuff I'm able to get into my bag, fits comfortably in my bag, that I can carry around. The stitching on the back is very well done. It's all double stitched, okay? It has a very nice vinyl cable on it to where you can go ahead and um, lengthen and shorten the strap. But, and it is double stitched and stuffed into the bag, so there's not that extra point of failure there. The craftsmanship on this bag, I'm very pleased with. It is hand sewn, okay? So that's kind of nice. You can see the attention to detail and the fact that the seamstress did a very good job on sewing this together. There's nothing inherently wrong with the bag from Amazon. This one though, like I said, I, the attention to detail that's there on the stitching, the fact that it is hand sewn. Excuse me, ears stay up. Nobody ever wonders what kind of a bag it is. Unlike this one where the ears are down and you're just, it's a bag with a on it. You're not quite sure what I'm going to carry it around unless you happen to know me. So this one, I definitely $20 eight dollars so there's definitely a price difference for the amount of stores that i have for the amount of attention to detail that's just in every little thing in the bag um for the sheer fact there's got mickey mouse signature on the back of his little hand i do love everything about this bag which brings us to the unboxing absolutely so here's the other thing too guys that i wanted to tell you is that they can run up to about 80 bucks mm -hmm. um they can also be as low normally not on sale right around uh 50 to mid 50s like 54 55 bucks but you can also catch them on sale so keep an eye out on that on loungefly or shop disney so 
definitely want to let you guys know kind of the price points there and that you can catch them on sale, even the, the Disney theme stuff as well. But yeah, let's do the unboxing. Let's bring it down here. And Drum roll, please. This came straight from Loungefly, which was awesome because they said it was gonna take somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, right around seven business days to get to us. And I believe it shipped on a Monday and it got here on a Wednesday. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna let you guys do the honors. I will open this, if you will. Okay. All right, so we got some tissues. I'm gonna need the, um, give the scissors, scissors again. again. Okay. Excited? Are you guys excited? I'm excited. How about you guys? Yeah, we're okay. excited. Put them here in front of me. Now let Morgan open this guy. I need this. I just love this little guy here. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Okay, that. Oh, wow. Okay, so on the picture, the Ray bag didn't really look cool. I mean, it looked okay. So, but... spoiler alert, this may be a Ray bag. <laughs> So I was gonna dramatically wow. from the new Star Wars. The, it's red. Right at the back of it, it's very well packaged. Okay, nothing's coming apart. Nothing's gonna scratch anything. The bag itself is not gonna get scratched. Very good job, Lounge Fly. Yeah, and I I actually want to point out a couple of more things too. The the color of this bag is just absolutely incredible. I mean, especially when you, when you figure this is this is supposed to look like Ray's outfit, right? And and, and her in the movie, and it is spot on. I mean, um, so the material itself, it's all the same material. It's that faux leather. Um, however, the contrast on it, and I don't know if you guys can tell. The contrast is absolutely amazing. I like the Loungefly branding on the actual zippers themselves. Way to go, Loungefly. This this hit a home run for sure. And hidden as a bonus, the resistance symbol. I did not realize that was going to be on the side of the bag. I do love it. I will say, Andy kind of touched on something that I have noticed. Um, all of these bags you can get on Amazon. Okay. And when they go on sale on Lounge Live, they also go on sale on Amazon. However, the pictures on Amazon are way better than the pictures on Lounge Live. The pictures on Lounge Live do not do these bags justice at all. That is why, when, because when we were going before we went to Disney World, I actually got Morgan like a little stitched backpack to carry her water in. I did not get her the Lounge Fly stitched backpack because the pictures on it, on the loungefly.com, are not good looking pictures. Okay, so BB-8. Okay, so this bag is like really cool. I mean, it is white, so a little bit scared we're gonna get dirty. But other than that, it's an awesome bag. I mean, his little eyes on the front, the little pocket with his symbols from the actual droid, and on both sides, just like the Ray bag, it has the resistant symbols on the side and the stitching. It's just phenomenal. Yep. And it's also got the lounge fly branding on that zipper as well. But I really like the contrast on the um, the straps on the back, the black straps. I like that. Yeah. Because if they were white straps, absolutely, it would be a dirty mess. I mean, a uh, week yeah. into it. But with this, it, it at least you have a chance. Yeah, you sure. have a chance. Right. Everything that you touch, that main part you touch, is not white. Right. And it doesn't make noises. But he could. I'm really happy with the Ray bag. All right, I wasn't sure. I just like that smooth kind of leather that it's got going on. Um, the Mickey backpack is more textured, which I do like as well. Um, the the Stitch backpack has more of that smooth leather, but this one yeah. is even smoother it and is just so really smooth. feels. 
It really feels nice for a fake leather jacket. It, it really feels like it's a costume. I mean, it, mm -hmm. on the bag, it's it's absolutely incredible. Right, and BB-8, he's got more of a texture going on too. Yeah, it has a texture just like the stitch bag texture. Okay. Yes, yeah. a little bit more like that. But yeah, so each bag is very individualized, very happy, you know. And obviously now we have Star Wars, we are Mickey, building and Stitch. Now that we have a force, as my mom said, we are building our empire slowly but surely. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us here today for this unboxing. Hopefully we have a bunch more coming your way. Uh, maybe some lounge fly unboxings, but other un unboxings as well. Guys, let us know out of the four that we now have, which one's your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Go ahead and comment below. And if you have a lounge fly bag and you've had it for a while, please, the quality, how you feel, that the extra 3D things, extra 4D things on top of the bag, how they actually stand up over time. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. Absolutely, yeah, let us know your thoughts, guys. We would totally like to know, um, not only if you have a favorite of these, but yes, if you do have a favorite of your own or maybe one that you're hoping to get, uh, we'd love for you to share that with us. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give us a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, also, go ahead and hit the bell icon so that way you'll be kept up to date with all the latest videos that we put out uh, for unboxings or Disney or all of our adventures here in Colorado as well. But guys, until next time, get out there, have some fun, and we'll see you on the flip side.